Hola, welcome back to my Spanish kitchen. Today we're going to make a classic and very common Spanish dish known as lentils or lentejas. It's common in households around Spain because it's packed with protein. It's a beautiful vegetarian dish, fits right in with the Mediterranean diet that everyone eats here every day. And you can mix pretty much anything you want with it. You can make it as a side dish. You can make it as a stew. You could turn it into a soup with extra broth, whatever vegetables you have on hand, aromatics. Today, I've got three kinds of mushrooms, portobello, shiitake, white mushrooms. I'm adding onions, of course, some minced garlic, two cups of diced carrots, about the same amount of bell pepper, olive oil naturally, and I'm using salt, pepper, and two different seasonings I just love to use. Sumac, a little bit of that, about a teaspoon or less, and Aleppo chili. It starts quite simply. We're going to add olive oil to a pan. We'll get it started and get it to medium-high heat. Then, as with any Spanish dish that begins as a stew or a soup, we, we make a sofrito. And sofrito typically is going to start with garlic, minced garlic, and I'll put that in. The onions. Only want the garlic to cook for just a couple of minutes to start to get fragrant. You don't want it to burn. Our next ingredients will be carrots, bell pepper, stir those around a little bit, just enough to mix them in, and I'll wait a few minutes until I add the mushrooms. I'm ready to add some more herbs. I'm going to throw a little bit more olive oil on the dish to help wilt the mushrooms. I've got garlic scapes I cut up, as well as some fresh rosemary from the garden. I'll add all of that. Stir it around. It's getting super fragrant in here, which is going to be a lot of fun. And the final ingredient will be the chicken stock, the lentils. We'll put a cover on it and let it cook. That only took a few minutes. So I'm going to put in all the lentils. Add a healthy amount of Mediterranean sea salt. A little bit of ground barrel pepper. And chicken broth. I'd love to have homemade chicken broth, but I just don't right now. But this is a really good brand in Spain to use, and so it's a nice alternative. And now we've got our soup going with plenty of vegetables, a nice healthy amount of lentils, a little bit more olive oil, simply because we can. And I'm going to put a lid on it and we'll let it cook until the lentils are ready. It's been over 20 minutes and I want to check the lentils to see how they're doing. You can see it's absorbed a lot of liquid. Lentils take anywhere from 15 to 25 minutes to cook, depending on how fresh they are and depending on what you're using, whether it's an Instapot, pressure cooker, or stovetop application like I have. But they look very tender. They smell wonderful. And I suspect it's time for lunch. So I'll take a few out to test them. And whenever you test a bean or a lentil, always taste more than one. You want to get a handful of them to make sure they're all cooked evenly. But you know the trick with cooking, taste, taste, taste as you go. Because you can always add more, but you can't subtract if you put too much in. It's creamy, it's great. It doesn't need any more salt. I think we're ready for lunch. Thanks so much for joining me in my Spanish kitchen. I hope you visit again soon when we'll serve another classic Spanish dish.